Hey, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul. Okay, so we are going to be painting a full-blown tutorial of um, the pumpkins with a raven and a full moon. So if you want to get the free tracer, go ahead and just type the word pumpkin, and um, my team will make sure you get the link so you can get the free tracer. So first off, I just want to say, hello, I have missed you so much. I've been on vacation, um, I've been popping in a little bit here and there, but um. But yeah, it's been a little while. So I just want to say I'm happy to be back in the studio. I'm happy to be painting with you. And if you want to have the full tracer of what I'm about to paint here in just a second, we'll give you the tracer for free as well as the step-by-step -step instructions. And we're giving you something else too. Step-by-step -step instructions, the tracer, and oh my gosh, there's something else you're getting as well. So make sure you type the word pumpkin. And let me know you are here. Say hi. I would love to say hi to you. And um, hey, Sheila, you're on YouTube. I see a lot of y'all on YouTube. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Mary. And yes, I am so glad to be back. It was so much fun. I have so many stories to tell you. I won't share them all today. Um, but so many, so many cool things that had happened. And if you saw my TikTok, you saw my hysterically um, crying scene. So if you don't follow me on TikTok yet and you want to see me have a panic attack, Go check me out on TikTok at Texas Art and Soul. <laughs> you can see a panic attack. All right, today's message is be kind, okay? So we're gonna be talking as I'm teaching, and we're gonna be talking about some cool things with paint parties. And then those of y'all that are jumping in, you can go ahead and type the word pumpkin if you would like to get access to the free tracer, the free step-by-step -step instructions. And there is something else I'm giving, oh, the supply list, of course, you'll know exactly the paint colors that I'm using. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Donna. Hey, Joyce. Oh, she says, oh, no, what happened? If you want to know what happened um, and my hysterical crying, um, go check it out on TikTok. I'm going to let you watch the video, and then maybe when I go live next week, I'll tell y'all the story, um, but y'all got to see it for yourself first. Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to use a jack-o'-lantern orange. Now, any color orange is going to be fine. I'm going to use a one-inch flat brush, and I'm going to just grab the paint, and then I'm going to start just kind of doing my and my my pumpkins. Now, you can see this is a, a really long canvas, and I did some cute little gold accents here, but I am going to do this on a 16 by 20 because I know in the paint party world, hey Teresa, hey Jane, hey Vicki, I'm so happy to see y'all. I hope y'all had a great few weeks. I hope y'all are having a great end of the summer and hey Paige, hey Shauna. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you on a 16 by 20 because in the paint party world, it is easier to get more 16 by 20s than it is to get these larger gallery size and they're hard to do. Oh, Tammy, I missed you too. I missed y'all so much. It was it was definitely a much needed vacation, but I am so happy to be back with you painting. Okay, I'm gonna point this down just a little bit so you can see. Now I'm gonna make this, like I said, a little bit smaller. And so um, those of y'all that are typing the word pumpkin, oh, thank you, Vicki. Yeah, I tried to share my vacation with y'all so you could see some of the um, some of the stuff that we did. So I'm going to make this pumpkin a little bit smaller. Let me bring it over. And again, you're not going to have to freehand this because if you put in the word pumpkin, we're actually my team. As soon as I finish this painting, they're going to make a tracer of it. They're going to be grabbing everything that I use from it to um, give it to you for free so that you can use it. So you don't have to stress about, oh my gosh, I have what if I can't paint that pumpkin? Again, it's you're going to have access to it for free. Um, so you can use it for your paint party. So with that being said, when I talk and paint, sometimes it turns out really great and sometimes it does not, but it's going to turn out great. Do y'all have faith in me? <laughs> do y'all have some faith in me that I can do this? Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of white too because we're working on a black canvas. And I did this because I wanted just to, to skip that step because at a, at a paint party, Sometimes the simplest steps will take the longest amount of time. Now, let me know in the comments, for those of you that are teaching paint parties, what has been your longest paint party? Oh my gosh, what has been your longest? Mine has been around, I'd say three and a half, pushing four hours. And 
you know, it's not good to have that habit <laughs> because you want to keep your paint parties around two to two and a half hours because people have sitters, they have, you know, things they're doing. And of course, they're having a blast while it's happening. But the next time you offer a paint party, if it's like, oh my gosh, I love painting with her. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Karen. And um, if they're like, oh, I love painting with her, but it's going to be, you know, four, four hours plus, like people can't dedicate that much time. So you want to keep your paint parties around that two, two and a half hour mark. Okay. And we've all done it. Let me know in the comments. I know. Yeah. T Tammy says five hours. Yes. I, it happens. It does happen. So we want to get really good at keeping our, our events around that two to two and a half hour mark is kind of the sweet spot where people will want to keep coming back to you. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just basically making almost like a, um, a letter D and I'm putting a little bit of white paint in there just to give it some oomph. Okay. And that's a real techie art term. Oomph. <laughs> hey, Janet. Hey, Alice. Oh, I'm glad you're watching. If you um, type the word pumpkin, our team is going to be giving you access to sign up to get this for free. You're going to be able to get access to um, the tracer, supply list, all that good stuff for free so that you can teach a paint party with it. So, um, so just be patient with us because you're going to sign up for it and then you'll get an email. So this is what to expect. You say pumpkin. Hi, Annie. I'm happy to be back. Sabrina says my first was four hours. Wait till yes, we got to keep them. Got to keep them in intact. And um, Mary says my second one three hours. My dog decided to have her puppies, and I had to keep checking on them. And then everybody was getting to see the new baby puppies. <gasps> that can happen as long as you need it to. When there are baby puppies, that's like golden. That's amazing. How fun. <laughs> okay, so here's what you do. You type the word pumpkin. My team will come back and give you a link so you can sign up for this tracer, the the step-by-step -step instructions and the supply list. So you can use it for a paint party for those of you, especially if you're like, I'm just checking this thing out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Well, fourth quarter, y'all, we are in fall. So this is amazing timing. If you've ever thought about trying to do something like this, it is amazing timing to check it out. And this is um, a great way. So just be patient with us. You'll get an email from us. If it's if you don't get it right away after um, you put your name and your email in, um, it usually takes about two minutes. You get an email from us. If you're watching it live, you'll see on the email, hey, it's being made for you right now because I'm obviously currently making this. Um, but my team is going to be making it so pretty. I, we have a graphic designer who does, does a beautiful job. Um, and she's going to be adding some fun stuff and just, just really professional for you. And um, you want it to be professional. Now, here's the thing that um, I'm going to try to do a little pumpkin, right? Just a smaller pumpkin because I want room. Let me see. I got my, my raven partly traced here. I want to make sure I have room for my moon. Hold on. My moon's going to go there. My raven's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to do a little. Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do just a little mini pumpkin here. Um, but here's what, you know, we have over 2,000 people inside of Paint Party Headquarters where I help them every month with their paint party businesses, their marketing, their social media. We're actually getting ready um, here with the fall ball to open up Paint Party Headquarters again. But here is what just, oh, uh, it just makes my heart hurt. Like, we provide really great marketing for you. Like, I am not good at making a flyer or stuff like that. Like, that's not my skill set. You know, I can paint you a pumpkin all day long. And um, let me know in the comments. Like, have you ever been, have you ever been mistaken for like an interior designer? Because you're an artist, people assume you are an interior designer, right? Like, I can paint a picture for my wall, but to decorate, like, you know, I can paint a mural, for example. Hey, Majory. Hey, Shelly. Um, oh, hey, Annie. So cool. Oh, she said she sold um, a wood at craft fair last week and gearing up for this year. Annie, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so like I can paint a mural, right? Like I can do that. But to design a home is a different skill set. The same thing is kind of with marketing materials. It's a different skill set. And what makes me go, ah, oh, so frustrated is whenever 
and I'll have people inside of Paint Party headquarters, and I know we want to do everything ourselves, like we want to. But when you're trying to just make a profit every party, use the tools that are there for you. You know, we we spend a lot of money every month, and we invest in graphic designers and people who are really good at that. And when I book my parties, guess what materials I am using for my own paint parties? I am using the graphic designers that I have in paint party headquarters to do all of that. So, um, so whenever you get this, you know, it'll be worth the wait because I'm painting it now. Then we're creating a tracer for you. All you have to do is put pumpkin and we'll get that to you. Um, and we're, you know, we're creating this for you. But what I find is that, that people will still go, oh, but I need to make it myself. And then they're like, I don't know why no one signed up. Like, have you ever had that? Like you, you got a booking and you're so excited for your paint party, but then nobody signs up. Well, think about your marketing. Marketing is 80 to 90% of your paint party business. So use the tools that we give you. So for those of y'all that are brand new to this, you know, and you're maybe you're going to do kits. Maybe you're not comfortable, you know, doing, you know, going places for a paint party. Maybe you're going to sell this as a kit. We'll use the beautiful step-by-step -step instructions we give you and print those off and put them there with your kits. So you're going to get that for free. So I just want to um, remind you that, you know, we don't have to be good at everything to still be successful as a, as a paint party business owner, as an entrepreneur, as, as you know, whatever you're trying to do in life, you don't have to know all of it. And um, so let me know if you agree with that. And then I want to um, share with you the next step here before we do, um, I'm going to put some more highlights, of course, on these pumpkins, but I'm just going to rinse my brush and I want to get the moon here. So instead of trying to just freehand a circle, just grab a paper plate, nothing major. And then I'm just going to kind of place it a little bit over the pumpkin. I want to see this right here, okay? I want to see this little corner on this part right here. So all I'm going to do is take the white. And I wanted to share while I'm tracing this. I'm just going to trace it and fill it in. And this is going to be behind the pumpkins. So on one of the nights, you know, we had um, this crazy, oh my gosh, crazy experience. And like I said, if you want to see me hysterically crying and full-blown panic attack, I didn't realize I was that fearful. <laughs> and you can see it on my TikTok page. It's at Texas Art and Soul. Please go give me a follow. That would be awesome. But, um, but the, the best part is at the very end when Pixie is just laughing so much at me. So you'll have to check that out. But, and she says that was her favorite part of the whole two-week trip, which was crazy because we did a lot of fun stuff. And I'm going to switch to a two-inch chip brush, and I'm going to fill this in with white first. And then we're going to be using some really cool pewter metallic. Um, but anyway, um, after what you see on TikTok, that we went to see the night sky. Well, in Zion National Park, if you've never been there, I highly, highly recommend it. It, it was gorgeous, glorious place. And um, Bobby and Pixie took me on a night hike. And this, this one was flat. This was not the one that you see on TikTok. <laughs> this one was flat after much, um, after Pixie saying, please, mama, you've got to see it. It's, it's like nothing else. And so it's considered a dark zone where they don't have any um, lights. Like all the lights are pointing down so that you can see the full Milky Way and um, Orion's belt, like everything. And I am telling you, um, we walked probably a mile and a half in the dark on flat land, this one. And um, we went into Zion National Park in the dark and Pixie had her little, you know, red light flashlight and she led us. I mean, she was so brave. It was so, so crazy. And Lori, hi from Las Vegas. I was just there. And um, I was just there for seven nights. It was really, really fun. And, um, and so, so anyway, so we walk and then all of a sudden we let our eyes adjust and we look up in the sky and, oh, it was unreal. It was like, I was like, it looks like a screensaver, like things you see only on a screensaver. So let me know if you've ever seen um, the Milky Way like that. Like I had no idea that we had so many stars in the sky. Like it was so, so gorgeous. Hey, Sharon from North Carolina. Um, 
so, so gorgeous. And so we just sat there and we watched the stars and, you know, there's no service. So, you know, you're just, you're just with nature and you're just looking at the stars. And there was a meteor shower that night. Pixie saw an entire, I saw the tail end of it, but she saw a meteor go all the way across a shooting star and it had a tail. So it literally went all across the entire sky. Like it was it was breathtaking. And so I will never look at the sky the same way again. Like it was, it was just something that, that once you see it, you realize like how it not only makes you feel like you're so small, but it makes you feel like, like if God can make all of that, like he cares for us too. Like it was just this moment of, of like, wow, God is so freaking cool. Like how cool is that, you know, and, and I don't know if you've ever seen it, but if you haven't, y'all, we have millions of stars. <laughs> it was so incredibly beautiful. I've never seen anything like, I mean, I've seen a meteor shower years ago when me and Bobby were, were um, just dating, you know, and I remember in Texas seeing, but it wasn't a night, it wasn't a dark zone where we were at. So there were still lights coming from other places. But it was in, it was so insane. So I'm going like this and I'm just dabbing and um, just dabbing like that. Um, let's see. Pauline says, hello, Heidi. Um, she says, loved all of your trip photos and you freaking out. on <laughs> It was it was not a freak out. It was a full on panic attack. So if you want to laugh at me, please go check me out on TikTok. Um, Annie says, yes, I saw the northern lights in Michigan. I've been to Vegas, Nevada and Arizona so many times because I have um, family there. It's amazing as I'm from Illinois, saw your helicopter ride. I was, I was on one and fell in love. Yeah. And we also did a helicopter ride and Pixie almost vomited in my um, lap. And I, I was a little nauseous myself. It was cool for about 30 minutes, but we didn't need to keep going. Like just show us and then let's get off. I was a little, that wasn't my favorite part for sure. It was a little terrifying to be honest. Um, I liked it, but I was a little nauseous myself. I think Pixie was passing over her, um, her stuff. Mary says, I used to live in Nevada and the Milky Way was out every night in the summer and um, sitting in the backyard on the bonfire in a cold beer, watching the stars. Mary, that sounds like a perfect night. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Pauline says God's creation. And um, yeah, if you've never seen it and Rebecca says there's supposed to be a meteor shower in the next couple days. So cool. So, so cool. And um, hey, Deb from Mantoraville, Minnesota. Oh, very cool. Okay. So we have that on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this um, pewter. If you've never used this, it's a pewter extreme sheen from Deco Art. And the metallic paint, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on my my plate here. And um, a little bit, just grab a little bit. I didn't even rinse my brush. I'm just going to grab some, and then all I'm going to do is just kind of dab into here to make it have kind of a moon, just a moon look. So again, nothing major, just dabbing to make it just a little bit more interesting. If you feel like you had too too much go back to the white and go back on top of it and it'll kind of blend it a little bit um let's see michelle says i was like that at the grand canyon i thought for sure i was going to witness a fall yeah oh my gosh i have so many stories again like i said i'm not going to share all of them today because um, there's a lot there's two weeks of stories and um, so i will be sprinkling them in over the next few painting tutorials but, um, but yeah, I was full blown mom mode, like full blown, terrified, afraid that Pixie and Bobby were going to fall off of the Grand Canyon Um, full blown, terrified mode when we were on Angel's Landing and Scion Um, full blown mom mode on the, the TikTok video. You can laugh at me and um, <laughs> I give you permission. Pixie's laughing so hard. That part just makes that part makes it all worth it that's that's the reason i posted it because the pixies laugh at the end was just so so funny um let's see um glenda says until i die i pray i have a trampoline to lay on and look at the sky lay with the pillow and watch the sky move all evening it's a miracle 
Glenda, that sounds like a poem, a poem. I don't know if I say that word right, but that sounds so beautiful. Um, yeah, y'all, if you have not looked at the stars, like find a, a designated dark zone and I highly recommend it. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just tilt this down a little bit. Um, oh mary says it's just not that visible in missouri yeah if you can ever go out to like arizona area or I'm telling y'all zion national park and even if you don't like to hike and um, the narrows i'm wearing a shirt for the narrows because i'm so proud that i did it and um, i loved it it was so so cool it was a a water hike it was like you're in water and rocks you have to be careful because you can um you can twist an ankle for sure, but I mean, I just, you know, living in Texas, we have some really beautiful areas, but I have never seen anything like Zion National Park. It was gorgeous. Like, it just makes you like, like, oh my gosh. I mean, I always know God is here, but, but really seeing, um, really seeing so much about, you know, like just God's creation and beauty. Like it just, I don't know. It just was really, really crazy cool. And um, let's see, got to see, Mary says, got to see the Grand Canyon last October. It was so amazing. Did you see the only bridge at the bottom of the Grand Canyon? No, I did not. I did not see it, Mary. And um, we did go on the skywalk, which is that see-through bridge. And they don't let you bring cameras or anything. So we couldn't take pictures unless we bought the pictures. Um, oh, thank you, Pamela. You're so kind. Um, we didn't, you know, we didn't buy the pictures, but um, we did go on that and it was pretty freaky, like that first step and you're like, oh, you know, it's, it's a long, very long way down for sure. But yeah, I was way more scared on, um, on Zion than I was on the Grand Canyon. Way more scared. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of add, start adding some orange in here. I'm going to put some orange and I love reading all of y'all's stories. So I know a lot of y'all read each other's comments and you can see the cool stuff that people have happened. And um, Hillary says, I'm new to your channel. Love your style. Oh, great. Yeah. And those of y'all that are just joining me, um, I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties, a profit every party. So if you want to learn more and you want to get the free tracer and all of that that goes along with it, we're getting our graphic designer to make it beautiful for you. You can use it as kits or for your own paint party and just type the word pumpkin, type the word pumpkin. And then our team's going to go back and give you a link. Basically, once you get that link, you, you sign up and you just put your name and email and then we will give you an email um, right. We'll give you an email right away, usually within three to five minutes. And then it'll give you the next steps in the direction. Um, OK, let's see. Oh, my gosh. So many fun stories I'm seeing in the comments. Um, the Tar Heel Ski Resort in August has a beautiful meteor shower that is awesome. And you're up so high, you can reach out and touch them. Christina, that sounds amazing. Oh, my gosh. That sounds so amazing. Um, oh, Mary, she says it's the only bridge that was used to carry lumber and supplies across the river. We did see, if you haven't gone to, well, on Texas Art and Soul, if you're here, you'll see it. And um, scroll down a few posts, you'll see a bunch of pictures from our trip. And there's somewhere it has like this really cool bridge that went across, but it was on top of the canyon. So I don't know for sure what that is. And so I'm not adding yellow. So this is just, you know, from the beginning, I do this full tutorial. So if you're just now joining me, I started from the very beginning and I just added white. So it's a little bit of white with a little bit of um, orange and I'm just grabbing it and just kind of just blending a little. So I put a little white with the orange to make it show up on this black canvas because it really just needed a little bit more, more umph to it. A little bit more umph. And if you're looking for techie art words, this is not the channel. <laughs> this is not the place. And um, because I teach paint parties, I purposely don't use that. You know, I was an art teacher for 10 years. But in the paint party business world, I purposely don't use a lot of um, techie art terms. First off, some of them are hard to say. And um, if you know anything about me, you know I struggle with words sometimes. <laughs> and the second reason is, is because at a paint party, it's different than a hardcore art lesson. It's more like um, a party, an experience, a get together, and um, having fun. And so I use a lot of words like swoosh, a lot of words like... Um, you know, blob, things like that. 
And in a minute, I'm going to show you my brand new favorite glitters. So um, hold on for that because that's about to be shown and shared here in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to use my messy brush and I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the brown. And um, again, the supply list will be yours if you just want to type the word pumpkin. And I'm going to use a dark chocolate and it has a little bit of that white and orange on it. So not really that big of a deal. Um, and I'm just going to grab it. And um, Glenda says, customers do not know what they're saying. They use layman's terms for sure. And that helps me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I like that too, for sure. I use all the, the silly, the silly words, the easy words. Okay. So here I'm just basically wanting to have a, a difference between these two. So I'm just going to grab some brown and just use my one inch flat brush. And I'm basically just grabbing it and pulling it. Okay, so you can put a little bit of the white with a little bit of the brown, and we're going to add some gold in here in a second, but we just want kind of a, a barrier, almost like it's like, you know, sitting on a stack of hay. Nothing major, but just sitting on a stack of hay. Okay, and I'm just going to add that on there. Now I'm going to go straight to the brown, again, with the messy brush. I'm not washing this at all, just a messy brush. Um, and it might need to dry just a, a smidge because the, the brown's not going on as much as I'd like. Okay, now I'm going to have this same brush. I just rinsed it. And I'm going to grab, oh, hey, Scott, Jody. Um, is it Jody or is it Scott? First time here. Oh, Jody from South Carolina. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. And um, go ahead and type pumpkin if you want to get the full tracer and the full step-by-step um, -step instructions as well as the supply list. I'm going to move to a smaller brush. I'm going to go to a liner brush. And all I'm doing now is just adding in, let me see if y'all can see that. I'm just using my pinky to grasp and I'm just adding in the stem here. Okay, just adding in a little bit of the stem. And for those of y'all that are new to me, I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties. And one of the biggest things I have noticed that people struggle with is the marketing part, which I love, love, love to teach you about, as well as um, coming up with new designs, which is what I um, help you with. So helping you with coming up with the newest on-trend designs so you don't have to think about it. You can just grab and go, almost like you're going into a, a, you know, a convenience store and grabbing what you need, which, by the way, I have eaten so much convenience store food and so much gas station food in the past several days. The past couple of weeks, I think my diet has consisted of mostly gas station food. It's been pretty, pretty real. Okay, so now what I want to do is just take this. I'm going to go back to the, the one inch flat and I'm just going to grab some of that brown. And all I'm going to do is just start to add in a little bit of these lines just kind of bring in these lines back and some people are more comfortable let me know in the comments if you're more comfortable with a liner brush or the bigger brush now when i was first painting i was um, more comfortable with a liner brush but now that i've been doing this for a long time and um, i feel like i can get a lot more done and i have a, a cleaner um like almost like a it almost goes on better than when I'm doing a smaller brush. I can get like a, I can move my whole arm instead of just a, you know, a little bit. I can just put it all down at once and move my whole arm. Okay, so now that we have that in, I'm actually gonna grab some black. Sorry, I thought I had the black out. Let me grab. I'm gonna grab some black and I wanna put this on here a little bit too. So let me get a little bit of black. And I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see. Pat says, biggest brush possible. Debbie's a liner. Um, let's see. We have Nancy. Do you have a favorite brand of brushes? Yeah, I have a lot of different brushes that I love. One of my favorites is um, we get wholesale brushes. So um, inside of Paint Party Headquarters, I share a lot of my wholesale details as well. But if you're just buying them from like Michael's, um, Craft Smart brushes are very great. And um, you can get like the three pack. I, I believe they're either purple or they're um, blue. And um, you can get that. And then you can also get um, the, you know, just the chip brushes. The, the two inch chip brushes are some of my favorites for 
using like getting big spaces because whenever you're doing um paint parties you want to make sure you can get big areas covered fast when you have a group okay so i'm going to go in with a little bit of black okay and then this black again i'm just kind of adding in some i'm not outlining the whole thing i'm just kind of getting some spots of it okay so just little bits and i'm keeping it curved along with the pumpkin all right and now i'm gonna go back to that brown with a little bit of black on it and see if it helps hey pixie what are you doing hey you want to bring blue over they haven't seen blue in a long time oh is he having a nap we miss blue so much oh my gosh we miss blue so much um, let's see. Ginger asked, do you set up a stencil station at your bigger events um, with like a watch container? They put them back in and pat them dry to keep them reusable. I'm kind of unclear on how to do that without buying 20 to 30 of the same stencils. And um, that is a great, great question. Um, so I like if you're doing the big porch leaner signs, like the welcome signs and stuff like that. And those stencils are around $18 a piece. So I'll buy one of those for every three painters. And then I don't have a watch, a watch, a wash station. I was just reading your comment, Ginger. And um, oh, Molly, that would have been cool <laughs> if we had been in, yeah, we were in Vegas at the same time. And um, I don't have a wash station. What I like to do is I take paper towels and I lay the welcome sign on it and then I dab it. I don't put any water on it because what I have found is if you wet the stencils, what happens is now it's going to take a lot longer to dry and it's going to, um, oh, you look so cute. Thank you. Um, oh, what's that? Sorry, Pixie's running in here. Do the oh, Annie says, please bring Pixie. <laughs> Pixie, bring blue. <laughs> computer. computer. Yes, it's it. We bring blue. Blue, blue. <laughs> Please like laying out. And yeah, my laptop is in the office. Okay. Yeah, but it's it needs charged. Oh, okay. you wanna say hi? No. Pixie don't wanna say hi, but blue blue wants to say hi. Hi. There's blue. Thank you. Oh, he's tongue kissing me. Right on camera. You wanna say hi to blue? Blue, they missed you. They missed you. Mm, I missed you so much. We didn't get home till like eleven thirty last night. Mwah. I missed him so much. He's my baby. Yeah, it's, yeah. Blue can wake for a minute and say hi. You want to say hi? Let's see. Let's say hi. We're painting a pumpkin. We're painting. He's an old man, y'all. Look at his gray. He's an old man. Oh, I love him so much. Okay. You want, you want to sit? Oh, you want to go outside? Okay. In just a minute. I'm going to finish this pumpkin. Okay. I got hair all over my mouth. <laughs> Oh, he's sitting right there beside me. Sometimes um, he would sit right here, like behind me, and I would just sit on the edge, and then he would be behind me while I painted. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get some gold. And I literally have dog hair in my mouth. Wonderful. Okay, so this is um, one of my favorite golds, 24 karat gold, extreme sheen. It's the same kind of paint. Again, this will be in your supply list, so when you type pumpkin, and um, we'll get you that, but it's the same style extreme sheen that I use for the moon, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do with this gold now is just take a one inch flat. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. Hello there, love the white pumpkins in the back. Oh yeah, those are part of the fall ball. So if you have not signed up yet for the fall ball, I'm gonna be teaching you this one and the cat in the city for only $10. And I'm giving away over $500 worth of prizes. And you'll actually find out about the fall ball. And whenever you get this for free, and um, we'll give you information for the fall ball. So just make sure you type the word pumpkin and you're not gonna wanna miss it. This will be our second annual fall ball. And we are going all out this year on prizes, gift cards. And um, it's like three nights of entertainment. It is so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to be adding in this gold, okay? This, this makes me so happy. Like, I love, 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 love adding in this gold. Oh, my gosh. So much fun. And so you can just grab it, put it wherever you want. And if you're like me, you get a little excited and you want to do all of it um, gold, then you want to just make a gold pumpkin, which might not be a bad idea. I might, might do that next. On another, on another thing. I might paint a gold pumpkin. 
should I paint a gold pumpkin later? I think I want to. Um, so I'm just adding in some of this gold and you can just kind of streak it in here however much you want. But I just want to show you how fun that is. Look at how fun. Oh yeah, Lydia, um, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you don't have to pay. You just go to the announcements inside of Paint Party Headquarters. So for those of y'all going into the fall ball, if you are a member of Paint Party Headquarters, you do not have to pay the $10. You just go into the announcements of the fall ball. I I'm sorry, the announcements of Paint Party Headquarters. So all PPHQ members, just do PPHQ. And um, if you're a PPHQ member, and um, so I know you're here, all you have to do, Lydia and anyone else, is go to the announcements inside of our private Facebook group. Um, my earrings twisted. There it goes. It's like the gold that I'm using. <laughs> um, and then, oh, thank you, Gina. I'm so happy to be back. Um, and then you can, why is it doing that? Sorry. Get a little distracted. Um, you can go into the announcements and then you're going to have access straight to the fall ball. Those of you that are not a part of Paint Party Headquarters, it's only $10. And I promise you, you will love it. You will love it. And this is our second annual. We're actually doing it up bigger than we did last year. So um, you're going to really, really um, want to be a part of it. It starts on August 22nd. So if you want more information, you can type the word fall ball um, and we'll give you more information about the fall ball. Um, but if you type the word pumpkin and sign up, you'll also get information about how to sign up for that. Okay, so I'm adding in some gold, little gold accents there. Now I'm just going to go to my liner brush with a little bit of white paint, and I don't want a lot. I just want to add in just a little bit, almost just to kind of give it some, some whimsy, some whimsicalness, right? Just my paintings, if, if you haven't, haven't noticed yet, are very, very whimsical. I'm not really doing um, photographic paintings here. <laughs> We're doing some whimsical paintings. Okay, so what we can do is I'm just going to add something down here. I'm going to add some more hay just so it doesn't look like it's floating, okay? And Martha says, I'm a PPHQ sister, can't wait for the fall ball. I know, I look so forward to this all year. I start creating the paintings, the, the two new paintings for it um, months in advance because I just want them to be perfect, perfect. And so I'm so excited to share this with y'all. And um, is there a second fall ball? Um, oh, okay, so the witch. And um, the witch, actually, this one, we have two witches. This one is a part of Paint Party Headquarters already. And then we had a fall ball last year that had a witch and an owl. And the cool thing about um, being a part of Paint Party Headquarters is you're going to have access to everything. But the fall ball for this one is going to be this painting right here. Let me see if y'all can see it. That painting right there. And... I'm going to teach you two paintings. I'm going to teach you that painting and I'm going to teach you this painting, the cat in the city. And there'll be everything you need for it, the tracers and supply list. So that'll happen. But to get more information so I don't confuse y'all, I definitely don't want to confuse y'all, especially for those of y'all that are new. And um, if you just type the word pumpkin, you'll get this whole thing for free and then you'll see all the details about it. And um, so it doesn't get too confusing because I don't want to confuse anybody. A confused mind does nothing, and a confused mind um, is not sure what to do. And so I don't want to confuse you. I want to just help you with this one. And then if you decide you want to be a part of the fall ball, I would love that. Okay, so I'm going to grab. Oh, wow. I had some of the paint. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see. It dried while I was gone. I'll show you at the end. Okay, there's something really cool right here. I'll show you at the end. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of the brown with a little bit of the black, and I'm just kind of shooting out some of this to make it look like hay. And I just want it to look like it's not just floating, okay? It has a place to sit. All right? Just a place for it to sit, just kind of right in here. And then I wanted to, to add the raven on top. Now, like I said, you're going to get the tracer, so you don't have to worry about trying to freehand this raven. And um, by just putting in pumpkin, you'll get the tracer. But I wanted to just ask y'all really quick while I get some more brown, what is something that you can do 
Oh, Debbie, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Um, what is something that you can do? Thank you, Melena. Um, that you can make your paint party guests feel special. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is sometimes the smallest little things that are literally free for us to do make all the difference. So when we were in Las Vegas, we um, we had drove. So we, you know, it was almost a 20 hour drive. It was about probably 18 hours. You know, we drove one full day and then we stayed the night in Albuquerque and, um, and another night in Santa Fe, you know, on the way back. But um, once we got there, instead of trying to drive to all the locations in Vegas, except for the Grand Canyon, of course, we drove our own vehicle for that. But instead of trying to drive everywhere, we took lifts or Ubers. Um, oh, thank you, Melissa. You're so awesome. And um, so what happened was we took a lot of lifts because we'd have to go, you know, downtown or we'd have to go somewhere else or wherever, you know, you know, the stratosphere, wherever we were going to. And so instead of us, um, you know, getting out the car, paying for, for um, parking, all of those extra things, not sure where we were, being a little nervous, you know, being in Vegas, not really sure where to park or how much or all of those things. Um, we just took lifts. And so of all the lifts, the one that stood out the most for me was the one when we got in, the guy immediately goes, hey, would you like to charge your phone? And immediately, all he did was he took his charger from the front and he threw the cord in the back. So if you are a Lyft or an Uber driver, y'all, that made a huge deal to me. Like, of course, we tipped him better. You know, he made us immediately feel comfortable. I'm just adding a little bit of gold into the hay here. Um, he just made, you know, made us immediately feel comfortable. Like sometimes you'll get a Lyft driver where they're, they feel like they're not allowed to talk to you and they're just kind of mean. And this one was like, how are you doing? Would you like to charge your phone? And he, you know, put his phone charger back there. And I mean, I needed to charge my phone, of course. And so I, you know, started charging my phone. And I thought, how cool was that customer service that he just did that one little bitty thing but it really, it made me want to tip bigger. It made me want to, um, to, you know, like give him a five-star rating. It made me go, huh, I wonder if I could get him back as our Uber driver the whole time, all of those things. Right. And so I started thinking, how could we do that with our paint party business? And um, how could we take those little extra steps to make our paint party business stand out and show like, again, you know, it's all about sharing God's love through art and, you know, sharing God's love whenever you're teaching a paint party and you don't, you know, necessarily have to, to talk about the Bible or talk about God, but you can show God's love through the way you treat people and your actions. So, um, so what I would do is, you know, like I started thinking about, I was like, you know, I could easily get like a little, you know, charging station, you know, like a little charging setup where I have three or four phone chargers and people could go charge their phone during the paint party. And I thought that's not going to cost me, but hardly anything one time. And then I could bring it as like a little extra service. So let me know in the comments if there's something that you do at your paint parties and that don't really take much effort, but they, they make a big difference in your, your business. So let me know. I thought that was really cool. And I'm going to be experimenting and just really um, fine tuning and thinking about that a lot. Um, let's see, do and Donna says, Heidi, do you charge more because you're using a black canvas where the black canvases only come in singles? And um, actually from Michael's, I can get black canvases from, um, for in five packs, just like the white canvases. So yeah, Tammy says it too. And Michael's has them in bundles. Um, definitely. Yeah. I get them in bundles of five. So, so no big deal at all. Um, yeah, Lydia says, so true, show your kindness. So, so true. I love that. So yeah, I just thought that was such a cool, easy idea and a way to share. Okay, so um, you're going to get the tracer for this if you don't want to freehand the raven. But I'm just going to kind of place my raven right here. And you're going to get a very nice tracer. I just kind of like drew this out real quick and um, kind of have a, a little beak on it. So it's not, it's not perfect, but the one that you'll get whenever you type the word pumpkin and that you'll get for free will be a nicer tracer that you can use confidently at your paint parties instead of this little piece that I grabbed from a computer paper.
but it still works. <laughs> so I'm just tracing around it with a liner brush. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to bring it over. Can y'all see that okay? Um, Annie says, customer service is a must. Like you always say, it's not always about the paint parties. What a great idea about the charger chargers. I've had a d door prize related to painting. We painted a gnome and I made a sock gnome and then a gnome game. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, there's so many, many ways. So many ways. Um, any way to get access to last year's? Yes, um, Patricia, last year's fall ball. Um, if When you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you have access to it. So all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, you have access to last year's fall ball paintings as well. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this down. And you can do, you know, more fancier feet if you want. I'm just going to kind of do two little lines. I'm just going to make it very, very simple. And then I'm going to grab my one inch brush so I can fill in my Raven pretty fast here. So I could just grab the black and we'll put some highlights on it, but I just want to fill it in like this. While well, I take it, this is like, well, the blueberry one's my new favorite drink. They're called Waterloo Sparkling Waters. If you've never had one of these, they're so good. The blueberry is really good. Sorry, very thirsty. Okay. So adding the black on there. Yeah, and I have some other fun ideas too. I'm going to share inside of Paint Party Headquarters. Um, Let's see, Mary says, I like to treat my paint party guests like they're VIPs visiting my home no matter where I hold my party, greeting each one rather than a group, shaking their hand and thanking them. Mary, that is so, so important. So important. Um, Holly says, I love possibilities of families coming to a restaurant with painters so I get to paint with watercolor books for kids. Oh, that's a great idea. Very cool. Yeah, um, I, I'm the same way. Like, I feel like, you know, when you have your paint parties, you want to, customer service is a must. Like, you have been those places where you're like, these people don't want me here, <laughs> you know? And if you've been to those places, I can guarantee you, you will never, ever go back. And when I was in Roswell, um, I walked into the scrapbooking store, which is right there on that main street. It's so, so cool. And um, it's called Imagine That. And um, I walked in and, you know, I, I'd been there five years ago on Bobby's 40th birthday. So I knew I loved it. And it was like my my go to place. I was like, this is the store I want to stop at. And, um, and so we walk in and I didn't even realize until I asked the, I was like, can I go to the bathroom and to the owner? And then she's like, are you hiding? I'm like, yes. And, and it's one of our paint party headquarter members. And so what um, was cool is she recognized, you know, she recognized Pixie right away and we just got to talk in and, um, and she, the way she interacted with her customers during the time we were there probably an hour and a half at least because we picked out all kinds of scrapbooking stuff for Pixie's never scrapbooked before. So let me know if you've scrapbooked before. And um, we picked out all kinds of stuff and we wanted to, um, to, you know, basically for this, this two week trip to make a scrapbook. And I was like, yeah, Pixie's is the perfect place. Like pick the stuff out. And so as we were picking stuff out, I noticed how she was treating her customers and how she was um, speaking to them and how every single person was important to her. Like it was so cool. And um, Denise, her name, Denise, if you go into there, it's again, a, a really cool scrapbooking store. It's called Imagine That and it's in Roswell and she also holds paint parties and just really, really cool to meet her in person. Um, and she's a member of Paint Party Headquarters, so that was really cool to meet her. And she, um, oh good, a lot of y'all have done scrapbooking. Yeah, so Pixie was like, can we scrapbook? I'm like, yes, we have all the pictures from this trip. Of course, that'd be so fun. And so what I noticed is like how she treated um, all of the people that would come into her her space and how, um, how her business is so successful. And I really attribute a lot of that to you know, the way she treats people, you know, she wants them in there. She is, she is so kind and so, um, 
attentive to whatever her customers need. I think we asked her three or four questions about where can we find this or where could we, you know, not only did she just point, she would actually physically walk us and show us here's where you can find this or go over here and you can find this. And, and it wasn't just to me and Pixie, it was every customer that walked in. She made a point to ask them how they're doing, where are they from, you know, like to connect with them. And I thought that was so, so important. And so I think, and you know, we can learn a lot in the paint party world and to go above and beyond. Cause again, at the end of the day, it's not really about paint parties. You know, people don't keep coming back because they want 17 paintings from you. They come back because they're, they're socializing, they're gathering, they're getting excited, they're meeting up with their girls every month, you know, whatever it is, um, creating. I mean, we were born to create and make stuff and do really cool things. So I think it's important that we take that extra part of that. Um, <laughs> Patricia says, I want your paint wall. Yeah, I love my new paint wall. It is so gorgeous. It's all color coordinated, which I did not do because I'm not that person. Um, but my cousin did it and she is just loved doing it. She's like, this is like therapy to me. I'm like, that's like a nightmare to me. So I'm trying to be really good and put things back where they go. Okay, so we have the Raven. We're about to add some little white highlights to the Raven. And... Um, Oh, that's awesome, Tina. Yes, you can go back and watch the whole thing. But what I recommend is put the word pumpkin, type pumpkin, um, because what's going to happen is we're going to give you a link to where you can get this for free. You're going to be able to get the tracer, the step-by-step -step instructions, um, all of those wonderful things um, that you can use for your own paint party. Because I want you to be able to experience it because if you love teaching paint parties, um, I would love to help you more. So I'm going to grab this white and just kind of add in a little bit of detail. So just to, I'm going to use my pinky as a holder here. Um, oh, I use the one that has, um, I have a few, but I use the one that has the phone holder and the iPad holder. It's like the crafters. And um, it may also be called the bakers, um, but you can find out more. We can give you a link to find out more. Um, okay, so I'm just grabbing the white and just adding a few little highlights on the, the little feet here, the legs there, nothing major. I'm not even going to put an eye because sometimes when you start to put eyes on animals, it can open up a whole new can of worms. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do just to kind of spruce this up, and um, actually two last things I'm going to do, and then I'm going to share this last thing and then um, the glitter, the new glitter that I'm obsessed with that you must, must have, okay? So I'm going to use this gold right here. And then just to kind of spruce it up, all you have to do is just take it and just start here. You can go this way or you can go this way. And just about the width of the brush, just kind of basically think about the width of the brush and move it over. Think about the width of the brush and move it over. And because this 24 karat gold is so pretty, and um, you really don't have to do two coats. You can really get away with just one coat. You can see on, on the camera here how much it really pops. So just by doing that little bitty extra makes such a difference, okay? So just to recap before I show you my, my new favorite glitter, um, I just wanna share, type the word pumpkin you're going to get an email within the next two to three minutes. Well, actually, I lied. Okay, type the word pumpkin. And then we will, my team's going to come back and give you a link to where it's going to lead you to a page that has this picture on it. And it's going to say if you would like the free tracer, step-by-step -step instructions, as well as the supply list. We will have all of that very beautifully done by our, our marketing, our um, graphic design team. And then um, you can immediately start using this design, this design. If you're, you know, if you're in Paint Party headquarters, you have access to all my designs. But, but for, for y'all today, we're going to give it to you for free. So you can use this design to start getting your, your paint parties going. And then um, because you're watching it live, or maybe you're watching it a few hours after it's live, of course, I just painted this. So my graphic design team is getting it ready as soon as I'm finished painting it, because I'll take pictures of it and then we'll get it over to them. And um, so just give us a few, you know, just give us a little bit 
Um, so you'll get an email. If you don't get an email, I want you to check your spam because um, sometimes it's there. Oh, Mary says, I love the 24 karat gold. I got some last week and it makes everything pop. It really does, doesn't it? And it doesn't do it justice. I know you, you can see it on camera, but in person, you're going to fall in love with it. Like the way it feels, you know, it's really cool. And remember, those of y'all inside of Paint Party Headquarters too, one of the perks is you get um, deco art and paint at 50% off. And um, so remember, we have a special code for you under the announcements. So make sure you go check that out. So if you have never used this or this glitter I'm about to share with you, um, use your coupon code for it because it's really, really cool. And again, that 50% off coupon code is, is, is exclusively, um, it's part of our, our Paint Party Headquarters group. So if you're not in Paint Party Headquarters, you should definitely check it out. Okay. All right. So all I did was I added just a little bit just to make it kind of pop. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now I want to show you my new favorite glitter. They have them in all the different colors. They're called holographic illusions. Now the reason why, and yes, Janet, we'll have this in paint party headquarters too. And the reason why this is so, so cool is because it's actually, I like it better now than my um, crystal that I used to use for everything. Now I've changed it to this. So I wanna show you, you just shake it up a little bit at the beginning. And then I wanna show you right here, you just grab it. You can use your finger or you can use a brush. And I'm just gonna put it right on top. Make sure you can see that right on top of where I put the gold, because this one is the magic gold, okay? This one's called magic gold. So it looks like, oh, I just put my, I just put my hands all up in it. <laughs> all, all on the side, I forgot I painted the sides. <laughs> Oopsie. Let me, let me clean up all, let me just, I don't want my sides to be messed up. Hold on, one little second. Okay, all done. <laughs> um, so this magic gold, um, there's all different colors. There's blue, there's there's clear, there's a um, silver. But I'm going to use the gold because I'm, I have gold paint on here. And what happens is it dries and it makes it really, really stand out. Where the crystal that I used to recommend all the time, which I'll still use. Don't get me wrong, I will still use crystal, but this will be my first choice now. And um, because you'll see, I'm going to show you on this other painting where I use the silver. Once it dries, it's used to, you'd have to move your painting back and forth to see the, the crystal, uh, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the crystal glitter. And now with this new holographic glitter, which as you can tell, I'm very, very obsessed with, and um, you can actually see it automatically. So let me show you on this painting right here. So I'm, I'm using gold and it's drying, but this one I use silver and see how you can already see it. And it's like chunky. So the glitter is more chunky. I don't know. There we go. See how the glitter is more chunky. So whenever you're looking at it on the wall, it really, really, really pops. It just, oh my gosh, it just makes everything so, so pretty. And um, like I said, for those of y'all teaching paint parties, doing paint parties, glitter is very, very important to bring. I'm, I'm telling you, you will find like grown women who have never painted with glitter before. And they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, just try it. Like, just try it on the side, see what you think. And um, here it is. This is the one. It's holographic illusions. And again, this is going to be in that supply list. So if you type pumpkin, um, we're going to get you access to all of the all of the paints I used, um, as well as the tracer, as well as the step by step. So you can literally just print it off, go to the store, buy it or buy it online or whatever, and um, or use the step by step instructions for an art kit or a paint party or whatever you want. Um, but this stuff right here, I'm telling you, like it takes a little bit longer for, <sighs> I did it again. <laughs> I said, so maybe paint the sides last because, oh, and then my hair tie broke. So we're about to have my hair come down to you. <laughs> my little hair tie broke. 
<laughs> this this live is going so quick. I gotta wrap it up. I'm losing I'm losing my hair over here. It's coming it's coming out of the hair tie, and I I've got gold paint all over me <laughs> okay so yes yeah, so type um type the word pumpkin if you want access and you can see how it's starting to dry but this will really really start to pop here in a minute okay did you like this was it fun i've missed y'all it's been so it's been two weeks and um, since i've been in my studio painting so i just wanted to pop on here and give you a free gift um, let you know that um, all you have to do is type the word pumpkin and then we will come back in and add a little link. When you click that link, it's going to bring you to a page. You'll see a big old picture of this and it'll say put your name and email. Now, remember, when you get that, it's going to take a couple minutes for that email to come through. I just finished painting this. So we are right now, as soon as I get off of this, we're going to send it to um, my graphic design team so that they can grab it. They can make you a tracer and supply list and all of that really, really beautifully. So give us a little bit of a, a cushion there to get that to you. And then you'll get a second email as soon as that's ready. Um, but the first email will tell you about the fall ball. So if you want to know more about how to be a part of that and um, check that out as well. And, and I can't wait. I cannot wait to um, to help you with this. I can't wait to help you with your paint parties. Again, I'm all about a paint party and making a profit every party and, and sharing God's love through art. And how cool is it that we get to do this and, and be a part of this paint party world? So I'm excited to help you. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, oh, thank you. I see so many of y'all saying fun, fun and welcome back. Yeah, so, so happy and to be back and so happy to be back in my studio with y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this and type the word pumpkin if you want to know more all right i'll see you soon